she was the first ever Queen of England to rule in her own right. But to her critics, Mary I of England has long been known only as Bloody Mary. Mary I was born on February 18, 1516, to Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon. She was not the son her parents had hoped for, but she survived infancy and grew up in the public eye as a beloved princess. This all changed when her father's infatuation with Anne Boleyn led him to divorce her mother and break with the Catholic Church. Declared illegitimate and separated from her mother, Mary refused to acknowledge her parents' divorce or her father's new status as head of the Church of England. Despite these challenges, Mary showed an incredible determination. In 1553, she seized the throne from Lady Jane Grey, the nine-day queen. Her bold actions led to widespread acclaim. Contemporary chroniclers noted that no one could remember public rejoicing like the kind that greeted Mary as she rode into London. Yet, centuries later, Mary is remembered as one of the most reviled figures in English history. Bloody Mary. During her five-year reign, Mary had over 300 Protestant heretics burned at the stake in what are known as the Marian persecutions. While this number is shocking, it's important to note that her father, Henry VIII, executed 81 people for heresy, and her half-sister, Elizabeth I, also executed scores of people for their faith. So why is Mary's name particularly linked with religious persecution? Part of the answer lies in the fact that Mary was a Catholic monarch in a country that remained Protestant after her death. History is often written by the victors, and Mary's Protestant successors ensured that her legacy would be tarnished. The first woman to rule England in her own right didn't simply inherit the throne. She seized it with unprecedented ambition from those who sought to thwart her. Historian Sarah Gristwood describes Mary's ascension as a staggeringly bold course of action undertaken with little chance of success. Despite being no bloodier than her father or many other English monarchs, Mary's legacy is marked by her efforts to restore Catholicism in England. Her reign, though short, was intense and controversial, leading to the death of many Protestant dissenters. This has cemented her image as a tyrant in popular culture, overshadowing her achievements and the complex nature of her rule. But Mary I isn't the only figure speculated to be the real Bloody Mary. Other candidates include Elizabeth Bathory, 17th century Hungarian countess, accused of torturing and killing hundreds of girls and women, and Mary Worth, a woman who might have been involved in the witch trials or killing escaped slaves. The name Bloody Mary carries a haunting weight, one that transcends history and enters the realm of legend. The mystery of who she truly was and the tales of her ghost have captured imaginations for centuries. As we delve deeper into the legend of Bloody Mary, we'll explore the ghostly figure that appears when people dare to chant her name into a mirror, invoking a curse that has terrified many. As time passed, the figure of Mary emerged with dark legends and ghostly tales, creating the legend of Bloody Mary. This ghostly apparition is said to appear to those brave enough to summon her in a ritual that has become a staple of sleepovers and spooky gatherings. The legend goes that if you stand in front of a mirror in a dimly lit room, holding a candle and chant, Bloody Mary, 13 times, she will appear. The ghost that manifests can vary. Some say she appears as a corpse, others as a witch, and some describe her as a demonic spirit. Often, she is seen covered in blood, her face twisted in a silent scream, reflecting the pain and torment she endured in life, or the rage she now feels in death. The ritual itself is simple but terrifying. The participant enters a dark room, usually a bathroom with a single candle, the only light comes from the flickering flame, casting eerie shadows that dance on the walls. As they face the mirror, they must focus and chant her name. The first few repetitions are easy, but as they continue, the atmosphere grows heavier and the tension mounts. Participants have reported a variety of outcomes. 
Some claim that Bloody Mary appears in the mirror, her eyes hollow and her mouth a gaping void. Others say she reaches out from the glass, her fingers clawing at the air, trying to drag them into her world. There are stories of people being scratched, their faces marked by invisible claws, or even disappearing without a trace. The most common experience is a feeling of overwhelming dread, a sense that something malevolent is watching and waiting. The ritual of Bloody Mary is not unique to the Western world. In Japan, a similar legend exists with Hanako-san, spirits said to haunt school bathrooms. Both legends reflect a universal fear of what might be lurking in the dark, waiting to reach out from the shadows. Why does Bloody Mary appear? Some say she is seeking revenge for the injustices done to her in life, while others believe she is a tormented soul, trapped between worlds, lashing out at those who dare to disturb her. The details of the ritual vary, but the core elements remain the same. A dark room, a mirror, a candle, and the repeated chant of her name. This ritual has been the subject of countless horror stories and films, each adding to the lore and fear surrounding Bloody Mary. The idea of summoning a ghost through a mirror taps into deep-seated fears of the unknown and the supernatural. Mirrors have long been considered portals to other realms, and the act of calling out to a spirit while staring into one creates a powerful and terrifying experience. As we move forward, we will delve into real encounters and personal stories from those who have dared to summon Bloody Mary. These tales, whether rooted in fact or fueled by imagination, reveal the enduring power of the Bloody Mary legend and the terror it continues to evoke. The legend of Bloody Mary is filled with chilling encounters and spine-tingling tales. Many who have dared to perform the ritual have shared their harrowing experiences, adding layers of fear to the already terrifying myth. One such story comes from Marissa, who decided to try the ritual after watching a ghost-themed TV show. Marissa stood in front of her living room mirror, spun three times, and chanted, Bloody Mary. When nothing happened, she moved to the bathroom, despite her friend's warnings. She shut off the lights, closed the door, and repeated the chant. This time, when she looked into the mirror, she saw a black and white figure with her mouth open wide. The woman in the mirror lifted her arms, and Marissa saw that her hands were covered in blood, with fingernails torn off. Suddenly, hands reached out from behind Marissa and grabbed her shoulders. She screamed, turned on the light, and fled the bathroom. Next, Katie had her own terrifying encounter when she was just nine years old. She and her friends decided to try the Bloody Mary ritual one weekend. They carried candles to the bathroom and began chanting. As they chanted, an old woman with cuts across her face and chains around her neck appeared in the mirror. Suddenly, the shower curtain caught fire, and the girls ran from the bathroom. An older boy ran in and put out the flames, but the girls were blamed for the fire. Katie never attempted the ritual again, and the memory still haunts her. Sarah, Gail, and Missy decided to try the ritual for themselves after reading about it online. They set up candles in Gail's bathroom and waited until 2.55 a.m. They entered the bathroom and chanted Bloody Mary 13 times. As soon as they finished, Bloody Mary appeared in swirling smoke in the mirror. The three girls screamed and turned on the light, causing the apparition to vanish instantly. The fear they felt was real, and they could not forget the sight of Bloody Mary's ghastly face. At a summer camp on Anacortes Island, a group of girls decided to play Bloody Mary to pass the time. They shut off the lights and said Bloody Mary three times into the mirror. At first, nothing happened. Then the mirror cracked. All the girls ran away screaming except for one, who was paralyzed with fear. Izao. She saw a flash of movement behind the mirror, as if someone was standing there. The next morning, the girls laughed about the event, but they couldn't shake the feeling of terror that had gripped them. These encounters paint a picture of the horror and dread that the Bloody Mary ritual can invoke. Each story adds to the legend, making it more frightening with each retelling. The experiences of Marissa, Katie, Sarah, Gail, Missy, 
and the camp girls reveal the power of the Bloody Mary myth and the lasting impact it can have on those who dare to summon her. As we continue, we will explore more of these real encounters and delve deeper into the chilling world of Bloody Mary. The terror and fascination surrounding her legend show no signs of fading, and the stories of those who have seen her continue to captivate and horrify us. As the legend of Bloody Mary continued to spread, more people shared their frightening experiences, each story more disturbing than the last. These tales reveal the chilling power of the ritual and the terrifying encounters with the ghostly figure. 25 years after her childhood encounter, Katie was still haunted by the memory of Bloody Mary. She never attempted the ritual again, but she couldn't forget the image of the old woman with cuts on her face and chains around her neck. The sight of the shower curtain bursting into flames remained vivid in her mind. Katie's story serves as a grim reminder of the lasting impact these encounters can have. A high schooler named Alex tried the Bloody Mary ritual at a sleepover. He and his friends gathered in a dark bathroom, lit a single candle, and chanted Bloody Mary 13 times. As they finished, the candle flickered and the mirror began to fog up. Slowly, a face appeared in the mirror. It was a woman with hollow eyes and blood dripping from her mouth. The friends screamed and rushed to turn on the light, but Alex's hand brushed the mirror. He felt an icy chill that seemed to burn his skin. Even now, he has a scar from that night, a permanent reminder of his encounter with the Bloody Mary. Another chilling tale comes from Lisa, who dared to try the ritual during a power outage. She lit a candle, stood in front of the mirror, and chanted Bloody Mary's name. As she completed the chant, she saw the reflection of a woman standing behind her, her eyes dark and empty, her hands reaching out as if to grab Lisa. Terrified, Lisa turned to find no one there. But when she looked back at the mirror, the woman was still there, closer now. Lisa ran from the bathroom, and to this day, she refuses to have a mirror in her room. At a Halloween party, friends Mike, Tony, and Rachel decided to test their bravery with the Bloody Mary ritual. They entered a small bathroom with a single candle, chanting Bloody Mary's name. The temperature in the room dropped suddenly, and the mirror began to frost over. In the frost, they saw writing appear. Get out. Terrified, they turned on the light and ran out of the bathroom. The frost disappeared, but the fear remained. None of them spoke of it again, but they all knew what they had seen was real. Megan's experience with Bloody Mary was the most disturbing. During a sleepover, she and her friends dared each other to try the ritual. Megan went into the bathroom, lit a candle, and chanted Bloody Mary's name. As she looked into the mirror, a woman with long, tangled hair and bleeding eyes appeared. The woman smiled, revealing sharp, bloody teeth. Megan screamed and tried to leave, but the door wouldn't open. The apparition in the mirror reached out and Megan felt cold fingers graze her skin. When her friends finally forced the door open, they found Megan on the floor, pale and trembling, and she never spoke of what she saw, but the terror in her eyes was enough to convince her friends never to try the ritual again. These stories add to the growing legend of Bloody Mary, each encounter more terrifying than the last. The chilling details of these experiences leave a lasting impression, a testament to the power of the Bloody Mary myth. Those who have faced her in the mirror carry the scars, both physical and emotional, of their encounters. As more people share their tales, the legend continues to grow, and the fear of summoning Bloody Mary remains strong. The legend of Bloody Mary has endured for centuries, passed down through generations as both a cautionary tale and a test of bravery. The countless stories of those who dared to summon her and experienced her wrath have cemented her place in the annals of ghostly lore. The question remains, who is Bloody Mary and why does she continue to haunt those who call her name? Historians and folklorists have tried to pin down the true identity of Bloody Mary. Some believe she is Mary the First of England, also known as Bloody Mary for her persecution of Protestants. Others think she might be Mary Worth a witch executed during the witch trials, 
or even Elizabeth Bathory, the infamous Hungarian countess, who allegedly bathed in the blood of her victims. Each theory adds a layer of complexity to the legend, making it even more compelling. Despite the various theories, one thing is clear. The ritual of summoning Bloody Mary taps into deep-seated fears and superstitions. The act of looking into a mirror and calling her name is more than just a game. It is an invocation of the unknown. The mirror serves as a portal, a threshold between the world of the living and the realm of spirits. Those who perform the ritual are inviting something otherworldly into their lives, with potentially horrifying consequences. The power of the Bloody Mary legend lies in its simplicity. The ritual requires nothing more than a dark room, a mirror, and the courage to speak her name. Yet, the results can be devastating. The stories of Marissa, Katie, Alex, Lisa, Mike, Tony, Rachel, and Megan are just a few examples of how a seemingly harmless game can turn into a nightmare. Their encounters with the Bloody Mary left them with lasting scars and a deep-seated fear of mirrors and dark rooms. For some, the thrill of summoning Bloody Mary is too enticing to resist. They are drawn to the mystery and the promise of an encounter with the supernatural. However, those who have faced her warn against it. The fear, the cold touch, the horrifying visions, and the unexplainable phenomena are more than enough to deter even the bravest souls. As the legend continues to grow, so does the number of those who have encountered Bloody Mary. Each new story adds to the myth, making it even more terrifying. The chilling details, the unexplained phenomena, and the personal testimonies all contribute to a legacy that will likely never fade. In the end, Bloody Mary remains an enigma. Her true identity may never be known, but her presence is felt by those who dare to summon her. She is a ghost, a witch, a vengeful spirit, and a warning all rolled into one. The stories of her hauntings serve as a reminder of the thin veil between our world and the next, and the dangers of invoking the unknown. As long as there are mirrors and dark rooms, and as long as there are people willing to test their courage, the legend of Bloody Mary will endure. Her haunting legacy is a testament to the power of folklore and the human fascination with the supernatural. So the next time you find yourself in a dimly lit room staring into a mirror, think twice before calling her name. You might just get more than you bargained for.